Take a look at the Red Sox box score. Mookie Betts leading off went four for four. Ben Intendi drove in three runs. Pierce on his historic night had three home runs and six runs batted in. All of these numbers collectively nine for 24 with runners in scoring position. So Jack, the offense for the Red Sox just a relentless force tonight. And you look at you mentioned the word passion at the top. The Yankees now have played two listless games in a row. It's not the way you want to set the template for the next three. That's a great word, Bob. I actually had that word written down here listless lethargic lackadaisical the Yankees had one of those games against the Orioles and then they wanted to come out strong against the Red Sox tonight as we said send a little message there's a lot of baseball left but if you get the first game of this series you've got Luis Severino going tomorrow you already dodged a bullet because you didn't have to face Chris Sale tonight instead it was Johnson and instead the Red Sox were the team that came out with that passion in their home park the question that Pierce just addressed there about Jackie Bradley Jr taking advantage of a Yankee mistake and the Yankees still almost got him at home but it was that great slide that enabled him to score that run and the Red Sox took off from there I want to leave you with one stat which Red Sox fans will love Yankee fans are going to cringe when they hear this in Steve Pierce's previous 132 plate appearances at Fenway Park two home runs tonight three home runs in one game against the Yankees so he turned it on in Fenway against the Yanks. So again, his three homers, seven doubles, by the way. That helps get guys around the base paths. But what else does? Something the Red Sox do a lot of over the past couple of years. Steal bases. 